Hello and welcome to Confetti and Cards. Lisa here and I am delighted you stopped by. I'm sharing a shaker card in today's video. I do have a few details about a giveaway hop that's happening over on Instagram today. I will get into that a little later in the video. For now, let's get started on the card making process. Let's take a closer look at this new confetti that's available in our shop. Now I'm loving this confetti. It's flat, unlike a sequin confetti, and it's perfect for low profile shaker cards. Now you can use sequins to create low profile shaker cards with fewer shaker bits in it. But today I thought, let's demonstrate how easily the confetti glides around in the shaker card. So I decided to use the thinnest foam adhesive I have on hand, which is about 1 16th of an inch thick. And we're really going to pile this confetti into our shaker. Now this iridescent confetti comes in seven different colors right now. And this is called Beauty Berry. We have our platinum line as well, which has a metallic finish and there are nine colors available in that. So let's start talking about some of the products that I'm gonna be using to create my shaker card. So here I have Whimsy Stamps, Butterflies. Now you can get the hot foil plates, you can get the stamp set that I just showed you, and coordinating dies for this butterfly set. And I use Spellbinders Glimmer Foil in the color teal to go ahead and hot foil stamp my butterflies. I used Whimsy's Rectangle Shaker Maker to create that white frame. And I'm so excited about this new product that Whimsy has. It's toner card fronts. And they are so beautiful. This is from the Fancy Florals One toner pack, which you see there. And I just store mine right in my Whimsy storage pockets. So to create this card, I have a piece of acetate here and I'm going to go ahead and secure it to the back of my die cut white frame. I'm just going to use my tape runner to add tape to the back of the frame and then adhere that acetate to that back side. And I'm going to burnish it really well with my fingers just to make sure that we have that nice tight bond between the paper and the acetate. So the next step is to lay down our foam adhesive on the back side of our acetate. I'm only going to use one layer of the foam, but I'm actually using two strips side by side because this rectangle frame has a little bit of thickness to it. So I want to be sure that it's supported on my card base. So once we get the foam down, making sure all the pieces are touching, you don't want any gaps in between the pieces of foam so your shaker bits don't fly out. We'll bring in our toner card because that's what I'm gonna use for the back of my shaker. And then we'll lay down our gorgeous Beauty Berry confetti and start to build this shaker. Now, if you wanted to, you could cut your foiled floral panel down to size. But I decided I like the way that it looks with the excess around the edge of the frame. So I'm going to leave it to a four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel. And I'm just piling the Beauty Berry confetti right in the center of the panel. And I'm going to come in, start to remove the release paper from the back of our foam adhesive. And then I'll center this up on the floral panel. Now I use my die release tool to help me lift the release paper up off of the foam adhesive. I just barely run the pick of my die release tool along the edge of the release paper and it lifts it right up and helps me remove it a little bit quicker. So now I'm ready to go ahead and start wrapping this card up. I'm centering my foiled A2 card panel in the center of a Simon Says Stamp glass media mat. And it has guidelines on it, so it makes it easier to line things up and center things. So I love that little glass mat for that. Now I'm going to add the butterflies using mounting foam because I do like a little bit more dimension than just one layer of foam. And I'm stamping my sentiment from Spellbinders Sentiments for You stamp set. It's a great stamp set to have on hand. I decided just to stamp it with black ink right onto white cardstock. I used Versafine Onyx Black Ink for it. Bring some black into my card to help pull all the things together. I'm using Whimsy's Circles, Circles, Circles stamp set and their background red rubber stamp that's called speckles. And I just fold it up around my finger when I want to do just tiny little bits and then just add tiny little specks around the frame using the same black ink along with that red rubber stamp. It makes it so easy. 
Now the stamp is rubber, so it's not gonna hurt it. And as soon as I'm done, I just go ahead and lay it out flat again. Oh, so to add my sentiment, I'm using Simon Says Little Tea Ruler. I actually really like this little tea ruler because the lip on it is a little bit higher than most tea rulers, so it stays in place when I'm using it. So I believe that's going to wrap us up on this video. Don't forget, you can head over to Instagram and join in on the Instagram hop hosted by Craft Collabs. If you're unfamiliar with Craft Collabs, it's a group of crafters that do hops to promote craft businesses. You can find them on Facebook. I really do appreciate you taking the time to join me here on YouTube today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found this content valuable, how about give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because YouTube really does like those things. And as always, please know how much I appreciate you. And until next time, please take care.